Hey friends, Pastor Bud and Chapman Keep the Promise Ministries with the Wednesday message, man. And tonight, uh, I hope this is a blessing to you. I want to talk about the gift of friendship. And anybody that has uh, a few good friends know that that is truly a gift from God. And I have been blessed with many great friends. And I want to talk about that a little bit tonight. I said, you know, a, a true friendship, man, is such a gift. And, and it's because, you know, people love you just the way you are. They don't try to fix you. They don't try to correct you every time you turn around or say, you know, you really need to do this because then I'll, I'll you know, then I can hang out with you. I think a true friend, man, sees the value inside. A true friend says, hey, you know what? Regardless of, of what's going on in your life, I see value in you, man. Let me tell you today that that's exactly how God sees us, as, as of great, great value. And then I was in there thinking tonight about uh, a situation in my life years ago, probably 25 years ago, man, going through a really tough time. And as I was going through this tough time, man, I was, I was riding around. I was like, man, this is this is kind of heavy. I don't know if you guys ever had things going on in your life. It just seemed to overwhelm you. And I went by my buddy's house. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I bang on the door. This is before everybody had a cell phone. And I, I'd say, hey, man. <laughs> you know, oh, you're up? And he goes, what's going on? I said, man, I just need to, I need to talk a little bit and see what's going on. And so we went out back and sat on the guy's picnic table. And I remember this. It, it's, that's probably, like I said, 25 years ago. And he said, what's going on? I said, man, this is going on in my life. This is going on. And, and just a lot of things I was just really struggling with, you know, trying to, trying to say, well, what's my next move and what should I be doing? And my friend told me this. He said, look, man, right now, you are the top priority right now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm listening. I don't care if you want to yell. I don't care if you want to scream. I don't care if you want to pray. I, I, I'm here for you. Man, let me tell you, that was a game changer for me. And so I, I asked you this, you know, think about this, that, you know, he, he would listen to what I had to say. He just let me kind of get things off my chest and, and just kind of say, well, you know, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. And, you know, a lot of times I see in talking to folks, it's not so much what I need to add to that. It's just that they just need to kind of talk it through. And sometimes if you got a friend that is just a great listener and willing to love you where you're at, let me tell you, man, that is a true, true gift. Now, I've been blessed with many, many friends not just acquaintances. I'm talking about many, many friends over over you know my lifetime, and I feel very blessed, and I want to be that same friend to them. So my next question is this: Are you that 2 a.m. friend? You say, what do you mean? Like I talked about one of my buddies, 2 a.m. I'm banging on the door, man, 25 years ago, and I'm thinking, man, I need to talk to somebody. I need to somebody to kind of can just just listen for a minute, kind of help me bring these things back around and, and see what's going on. And I thought, man, I am so blessed to have somebody that would take that time. Somebody that tells me, so, man, you're the priority right now, man. I'm clearing my schedule off. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what anything else is going on. Right now, you're the priority. And you say, well, man, I wish I had a friend like that. Well, I'm going to tell you what. You've got a friend like that in Jesus. And not only is he a 2 a.m. friend, he's a round-the-clock friend. He's closer than a brother. And he's willing to listen. And actually, here's the thing. He's willing to love us right where we are. That is the blessing of having fellowship with Christ. But you know what? Even going as God works all that together, he even gives us folks that he puts in our path, man, to represent him well. So again, I ask you, do you have a 2 a.m. friend? If not, you can find one that is a 24-hour friend and more than that, and his name's Jesus. The next thing is, are you that 2 a.m. friend? You know what? It's easy to, to, to be that friend when everything's great and going on, but what about when, 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 when trouble times hit? Are you willing to listen? Are you willing to encourage? Are you willing to point them back to the foundation of Christ? And I tell you what, we have a great privilege as brothers and sisters of Christ to be that gift of friendship back to somebody else. Fellowship, friendship, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to tell you what, having somebody that you can bounce things off of, having somebody that doesn't condemn, but somebody that comes alongside with compassion means all, it just means everything. But let me tell you this, God is the one we go to first. And he will use people along the way to encourage you. So I tell you what, friends, I pray that I'm an encouragement to you. You guys are a blessing. Share the message. You've got to be somebody that needs a little bit of cheering up tonight. I hope it's you, and I hope this hits you well. All right? Bye-bye. We'll see you.